In this video, I want to show you how I turn my Lenovo Y700 tablet into a laptop. And using here the laptop, this is a screen with a keyboard and a trackpad, and you can connect any device through USB Type-C. So if the device has video output, like the Lenovo, you can connect this with just one cable and use this like a laptop. I recommend you checking the official page, because here you will find all the information regarding the compatibility of the devices, but basically any that can do video output through USB Type-C is going to work. If not, you also have a HDMI port in this part, so you can connect other devices like a Raspberry Pi, a PlayStation 4 for example, or whatever device. As I commented, you can check the compatible devices, and here you can find Samsung, because you can use this with Samsung Next, or Motorola, but in this case I'm using the computer mode built in the Lenovo. So you can see that I have here a screen, I can open Spotify, and in the laptop I can open a different application. So you can have like a dual monitor setup with just one cable, and I have been using this setup for the last three weeks, so basically I like to have a productivity application open here in the next dock and something like uh, Twitch, YouTube, Spotify in the second screen, in the Lenovo screen. So let me show you the different uses I have found for this device. The first one, as I commented, is productivity. You can have, for example, Spotify and listen to your music, while here you have, for example, your PowerPoint application or your Excel, your Word. In case you want to know very good applications for productivity, I recommend you checking this video so you will find different applications that are very good to use for, for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, reading PDFs, reading any type of file, or whatever thing you need. Also, as you can see, we are using a web browser, but it is like a normal computer browser, and this is because I'm using Kiwi Browser. And in Kiwi Browser, you can configure the pages to open like, a, like in desktop, in a general way, so you just enable this once and you can browse the internet like in a computer. So a part of the productivity, I also like gaming. Let's open Fortnite for example, and you can see that the application is not in full screen, but we can fix this, just restart the application. And something very good that this next block has is that you can connect, for example, this dongle that comes with the device. This is a USB Type-C to USB adapter, so I will connect my gamepad instead of using Bluetooth with this USB dongle. So I have opened Fortnite in full screen. I had some problem because the computer mode from the Lenovo sometimes doesn't recognize well the resolution, but you can just restart the application and everything is fine as you can see. And I have connected the USB dongle that it is available in the right part, so I can connect the gamepad and play with the USB dongle instead of Bluetooth, so we have less latency. As you can see, it is working without any problem, so let's play a match to see if we have any input lag or something, but I have to say that I have playing in this setup for some hours and everything is working really well, so I think it's a very good setup if you are going to go on a plane or if you are going to travel somewhere and you don't want to play just in a small screen, you can take this with you, do some productivity stuff, and then you can play in a bigger screen. And you will see that if you have a very powerful device, this can be used like a gaming console. In my case, as I said, this is the Lenovo Y700, but this is the 2022 model. So we are using here the Snapdragon 870. This is not the most powerful GPU or CPU, but we can play without any type of problems. I have set up Fortnite to high graphics. I usually play in medium graphics to play at 60 FPS, but for the video I have improved the graphics a little bit, so we are going to play around 30 FPS. And as you can see, the game looks really good. We don't have any input lag. Also, the device has speakers, so you can just listen to the game in the laptop. In 
instead of Fortnite, you can play, for example, PlayStation 2 games or whatever games from a console. And this is going to be a very good device to play in a bigger screen. So I have been using this a lot in this setup, like you're seeing, just to play Fortnite in a bigger screen. I can just play in the bed. I put the tablet in a side with some music or whatever, and I put this in my legs and I play in the bed or in the sofa. And it's a very good setup. So let me show you how the speaker sounds. I have to say the quality of the speakers is not the best, but it is not bad. I think probably the speakers in the tablet are a bit better. So at least in the Lenovo PC mode, you can select the device to reproduce the sound. So you can select the tablet or the Nest Dog. So I will probably use most of the times the tablet, but I think it is a good feature at least have the opportunity to display sound if we need it in the next dock. So let me show you some problems I found, but I think it's going to be more related to the device you want to use with the next dock rather than the next dock itself because for example i show you that fortnite is running well but if i open that first i cannot put this in full screen i don't know why probably is some bug regarding the game and the lenovo computer mode but if i try to put that cells in full screen you can see that we have it in a small square and not in the full screen so this is going to be more related to the device you are going to connect to the next dot rather than the device itself. So what happens if you have a device that cannot do video output? For example, this is the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 and we cannot use this cable to see the screen in the next dot. So for that, we have the wireless capability of the next dot. So in your device, you have to enable the option to cast the screen. In the Xiaomi, for example, we have a button we just need to press and here you will see Next Dock. So if we click on that, you will see that the screen is going to be replicated in the Next Dock device. As you can see, we have the same screen. You cannot have multiple screens like with the Lenovo tablet, but at least you have a bigger screen. The problem here, as you can see, it has a little bit of lag. When you open an application, you can see that here it lags a bit faster in the screen, but as you can see, it lags a bit, so this is not going to be the best for gaming. Maybe if you do some emulation like you play a Pokemon game here that you don't need to play in real time, it's going to be fine. But for Fortnite, for example, it is better not to play like this. If you want to see some movies or some series, you are not going to have any problem. But as I commented, it is better just use this to mirror the screen in a bigger format. In this case, the Xiaomi, it has a bigger screen, so it doesn't make that much sense. But if you have a phone or you have a small tablet, you can do the same thing here, casting the screen. Also, as you can see, we cannot use the trackpad or the keyboard with this functionality. But if we go to the Bluetooth settings, settings, we can pair the tablet to the next dock and you can use the touch screen in the next dock. But it doesn't make that much sense because it's going to be more responsive here. And not just the tablet, but you can also use the Steam Deck, for example. Connect the dongle like I did before to play Fortnite. And you have a laptop, a true laptop with a Steam Deck. You can boot this into Linux, or if you have Windows installed in the Steam Deck, you can boot it in Windows and you will have a laptop. Or you can just play in a bigger screen with your Steam Deck. And as you can see, it doesn't have any input lag or anything. Also, the screen, I have to say, that has a very good resolution and it looks very good. The colors are very good, but it only has 60 Hz. So if you want to play in 120 plus Hertz, you will need a different type of screen. So let me show you also the functionalities of the next dock. If we swipe with two fingers, we can open the menu of the next dock. Here you can increase the brightness, the contrast, etc. Also, you can select 
the video output. In this case, we are using the USB Type C, but you can use the HDMI that it is available, or you can use the cast option like we saw with the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5. Also, we can lock the screen, so this is not going to rotate when we move the desktop, and we can enable charging the device that we have connected in the USB Type C. For example, if I click here, now the tablet will start charging, but this is not going to provide a very high power, so it's going to charge very slow and you're going to consume the battery from the next dock way faster. So in my opinion, it doesn't make that much sense to charge the device with the next dock. So I always have this option disabled. And about the battery life of the next dock, I have to do some testing and it is around 4 and 5 hours. I have used this mainly connected to the tablet and I have been using also the next dock like you're seeing right now but instead of the tablet my laptop so I have an external portable monitor that you can use with any type of device and in my testing I have been using the next dock at medium brightness without any other thing rather than the type C connected to the device or the HDMI and I got around 4 and 5 hours. And also, if you are going to charge the next dock, it doesn't have a very powerful quick charge, so it will take a bit. So in general, I'm very happy with this device. And I think it's a very good alternative if you want to travel with just your tablet and maybe have the opportunity to have a bigger screen and work more comfortable with a keyboard and a trackpad. So why not using just a laptop well, in my opinion, I love Android and I like to have everything in this small tablet. So I have all the apps, all the games, all the configuration and all the files that I need here. So I can just take this tablet and take it with me to anywhere. If I need something for productivity a bit bigger and to work more comfortable, I can take the next dock. So I have a keyboard and a mouse and a bigger screen. So I have basically a laptop. If I want to see some movies, some series or play in a bigger screen, I can just connect the tablet to the TV. So the brain of everything is the tablet and I can plug it to different devices to use in different cases. 